happy Friday. Welcome back to Jeff Lewis Obsess, where we recap Jeff Lewis Live at six o'clock every night. Um, I, I don't see the show, show because I don't see the IG and YouTube YouTube episodes. Is she talking about Jeff's show? Like how he, somebody tapes it on there? I don't know. Why wouldn't she see his Instagram though? That's hot. What's hot? Oh, that, that I'm Kelly sweaty. sweaty? That I'm sweaty. Oh, Fluffy. Don't you start flirting with me, Fluffy. Fluff, Fluff Alicious. Next thing he's going to talk about his wiener. <laughs> his anaconda. <laughs> his anaconda. Uh, um, anyways, okay, well, let's get started with Friday's show. It was so good. Patrick and Paul, and I mean, the main star. Snow, Snow White 90210. Yes, yeah, Snow White 90210. Oh, my God. Then talking about, do, do, do you think they don't live in a fenced-in yard? Because why would they be worried about coyotes and stuff if they live in a fenced-in yard? No, I. Well, they did have a. Well, if it's still there. Before when they were on interior therapy, what was that like ten years ago? There was a big gate. I felt like where Jeff was like, "Oh, this looks run down." And but then you had to go up quite a way to a driveway, so it might not be gated the whole way, or maybe they can just and they'll jump the fence to get a dog. Wow, and then they talked about bobcats, too. Frucky, you stop it. I know, then he said, you look skinny. You stop it, Frucky. Coyotes can jump six-foot walls. Okay, this makes so much, excuse me, this makes so much sense that um, I knew Jeff's house. I remember the house he was talking about. With the deers. Um, because I remember him feeding the deers the apples. Um, and I remember that that part wasn't fenced in. I think he had a fenced-in part. Right. But the part that he would go out to, but I'm like, oh my God, my dog, Skinny Legends. Oh goodness, you're so funny. All 20 people watching, thank you for telling <laughs> us we're skinny to them, that we're a legend. I love it. Hey, I'll um, take whatever I can get. Absolutely. Um, I just can't imagine. We have one dog that's a lab, so she's really big. So we do yeah. have coyotes on the golf course behind us, though, but we don't even worry about them because we've got like an eight foot fence, but don't even well, dawn on us. Yeah, we have coyotes here too, and there's always dead animals and dead ducks and dead. Yeah, they're just they're scavengers. They're hunting. Wow, and um, them talking about going out and seeing what was their cat's name? Fluff Kitty. They had it for eight years. Hi, Penny. They had it for eight years, and they I went was, out and saw the the remains of it, so they know it was eaten. I was a little annoyed. It's like, why are you letting the cat out? No, I don't think they meant to. They were doing remodeling and the cat got out of a window. Then why don't you keep the kitties safe? I mean, I've had, we had this, um, we had a family sort of near us that's mother would come spend time with them and the grandkids. And she was very overweight, very old and, you know, whatever. Anyway, she would always let one of their dogs out. And my friend that lived in the neighborhood would get so pissed at her. Oh, she's not taking care of that dog. Well, then she got a rescue dog that was a wild animal and would run out all the time. And I'm like, uh-huh, remember when you bitched and moaned about our friend and now it's you that right. people are facing your damn dog? Right. I so, just know, like, you It I happens. Mean, I mean, obviously yeah. it wasn't on purpose, but. Um, Can I tell you a quick story about a kid? Yeah. Really sad. We had, we. Um, we oh, had I remember house. that, Valerie. We house live in a house. Cat. We live in a house where when we moved there, there was a bunch of stray cats because the owner was just feeding them. So. Um, there was this cute little baby kitten and we adopted her and she got out. She did get out in a raccoon. Those fuckers, they ripped her and Tyler found her leg and her tail. Yeah, they are they are so vicious. Did y'all see it or how did you? I survive? didn't. I didn't. Tyler did. Oh, oh, that's terrible. I can't even imagine. I know. Um, Anywho. Oh, your dog is puppy pad trained. Yeah. She doesn't even go outside. That must cost a lot of money, those those little diaper looking things that you put on the ground, right? I think they're pretty big. You could probably cut them up, maybe. Oh. Them smaller. I don't know. Because it's every a small time dog. you pee and poop, my God. Fluffy, that is uh that is devotion. Our dog he goes loves the damn grass. <laughs> he loves the pup. He oh. The pup. Um, oh my gosh, that was gross to think about. Um, scarier than that is Jeff posting on Instagram last night on his own accord. I was shocked when I got the notification on my phone. Jeff has posted. I'm like, what? What the hell did he post for? Did he say they were at the bourbon room? Yes, the bourbon room to see Drag the Musical. What is the bourbon room? Like a, 
entertainment space? Yeah, I want to say I think I've been there before. It's um, yeah, it's just a place where you know it's got a smaller kind of theater, yeah, kind of thing. But I, I me, mean, it's not the same place because they said they had food. There was a bar, but this one must have had food. So I've well, heard of it. It's very popular. Of and, course, the bar was too slow for Jeff. Is it Jeff, or are the, is it Jeff the problem, or are slow bars just following him, or is this a problem everywhere? Because it's, I don't go out where there's bars a lot, but when we do, we don't have a problem. And I'm not giving anybody $200 like Diana was talking about on Beverly Hills. Did you finally watch Beverly Hills? No, I have to. I it's couldn't such get- a shitty episode. I'm not even ruining anything for you. But she was talking about paying off people to get a drink, like tipping people like Jeff does. But Jeff knows this. He said it before. No one in L.A. wants to go back to work. Everybody is on unemployment probably still. And so there's and there's a lot of people who are like, no, I'm not going back to a job unless I'm paid more. So there's a lot of um, vacancies out here, I'll say. Shane was with them and he then ended up spending the night because he said he wasn't safe to drive home, uh, you know, probably drinking. Um but he wasn't in any of the pictures that I saw. Maybe he was the one taking the pictures. I swear I saw him in Krista. Was it him, Krista, and Jeff on the red carpet? No. No, I only saw him and Krista on the red carpet. Oh. And then him and Krista and Justin uh, Martindale in a picture in the club. Yes. I Someone said something about Krista being involved. She does some sort of producing, I know. And okay. I saw- so maybe she's involved in the show? Yeah. Okay. She says something like that. Yeah. Darcy, um, hello. Have you ever coated your stomach with olive oil before you go out drinking, though? I feel like someone told him this before. Didn't he have a show where someone told him to take a... I swear I've heard this before. And someone told him... I feel like it was Paige Davis, maybe, that said, like, you're supposed to drink a spoonful of olive oil. I don't yep. remember her saying that. Of course, she's famous for the Trinity thing where she does someone a cocktail. I think she does Diet Coke and water. No, that's what Dorinda does. I yeah. think Paige Davis's Trinity is cocktail, sweet tea, and water. You know what it is? Um, oh, oh, what's that? Oh, okay. Good to know, Fluffy. When Frankie was involved in Rock of Ages. Yeah. Did well, that. you know a lot about Frankie. Um, no, it was on Real Housewives of Miami. Remember one of those ladies told the, um, I can't remember her name, the woman that's married to the tennis player that um, she needed Julie? to drink. Martina. Yeah, so. yeah. Yeah. That she needed to take a spoonful of olive oil to coat her stomach and she got really sick. Well, yeah. A teaspoon of olive oil, that grosses me out. I mean, if I have olive how oil, I want s- some food with it. How could you even swallow that? I'd be like, Bleh. Uh, um, they did mention this drink that Adrienne Maloof used to have, or maybe she still does, called um, Drink Aid. And that's the yeah. drink at um, Jeff's uh, November show, the Burbank show, right. where he called me and Cheryl from Van Nuys up to give us that drink because I'd called in and told him I was coming in for the show. And right. I think he said something about getting drunk, and I had just gotten obliterated at my high yes. school reunion. I remember you telling and me. And there was no alcohol. I mean, I might have had two drinks the whole 36 hours I was there. Um, Lisa, we do try to load these shows on YouTube. Um, it's taking forever to load. Yeah. I'm not, even from last night, it's on like 60-something percent. It's only like 40 minutes. I have great internet. I have a brand new iPad. I don't know why it's taken so long, but it's getting annoying. Um, they're always on our Instagram, though, and you can watch there or you can listen to it as a uh, as a podcast on Spotify. Right. So if you want to watch it, you can watch it on Sarah's page as a post or... In your story. And in my story. Yeah. Um, anyways... Um, what was this Paula they mentioned? I wrote down the name Paula, and then I couldn't figure out what I wrote that down for. It was, something, was that what, maybe one of the drag queens' names? I don't remember Paula, but I only got to listen once, so I might have missed it. Yeah, and I know they talked about how long the show was. It sounded like Jeff actually stayed for most of it. Yeah, but I agree. An hour and 40 minutes is a long time. Shout but out, I, Alice. How are hi, you? Alice. Friday night. Um, we try to say hi to everyone, but sometimes they just scroll up so fast. I and. Know. We'd be sitting here saying hi to everyone if we did it all night, but I do, we do love saying hi to y'all. 
speaking. So we'll say shout out to your pets. <laughs> oh, Paula, uh, Paula Abdul. Abdul. That's right. Um, that's right. That's exactly what they were talking about. Um, so Shane, it sounds like, has a date tomorrow night. From Ken. Jeff is maybe at Chef Stu's apartment as we speak. He's either eating steak or being cooked as a steak. <laughs> or being eaten. <laughs> Well, sure he can be, he he can be eaten, eaten in a good way, though. That's what I'm saying. <laughs> Maybe not eaten, but tossed your salad. Tossed yeah. your salad. Oh, what? Tossed... Are, you Are we still going to go out on Saturday night? You're supposed to DM me. Sorry. Come oh, on. how fun. Why is Camilla Newport just visiting? Baseball. Oh, Life's I'm fun. jealous. Oh, my I God. Know. Oh, I'm sorry. No worries. I know you had plans on Saturday, too. No worries, girl. I get it. Um, Enjoy Newport. Okay. Do you think, I guess it's no big deal that he said that Justin Martindale also dated Stu and Stu also dated Scott? Do you know what I said? I said, okay, so then Justin is a top, right? I think he's a verse. No, because Stu and Scott are bottoms. They were with Jeff. Oh, Justin's a top. That was all. <laughs> nice Scott. Story. But Scott's a bottom, and Stu dating him. Stu and Scott are bottoms. Yes. Justin and Jeff are tops. But Stu also dated Scott. What? Isn't that what they said? Or did Justin Martindale date Scott and Stu? Yes, 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 yes. Oh, yes, I was yes, thinking yes. Stu dated Scott and Justin. No, Justin and Jeff are the same, and they both dated the same type of men that are hot and bottoms. Stu okay, would have Fluffy to be will first. give us the lowdown on the anal yes. sex. Stu would have to be versed to date Scott. He yes. didn't. But he yeah. didn't date Scott. Justin... What is his last name? Justin Martin? Martindale dated Scott and Justin Martindale dated Stu. You know what's funny is that poopy picture of the face of that lady member. I yes. got that. <laughs> I got that from Justin. Oh, he's the one that posted it? Yeah, I, I looked and he has like a podcast and he either was not a uh, guest or he does one with the drag queen. It was pretty yes. fun. Yes. Um, what's the drag queen's name? She's really famous. Uh, I think Shannon is a big fan of hers. Everything's hunky-dory. Yeah, and I agree. I think Justin would be fantastic. I want to see him dancing because I feel like that's what I do. Like, if I hear a really good song, even if I'm in the middle of a conversation, I'll just back it up. And I love that he was saying that he does that and just dances by himself. Yeah, and then comes right back in. That's what I do. He sounds like a good time, and he's um he's really good whenever he's on Juicy Scoop, although I haven't listened to him a lot. When I usually listen to Juicy Scoop, she either has another guest or she has that fr Chris Frangiola on. Oh, okay. Yeah. You know, it is, it is a very small gay world in WeHo. There's only so many tops and bottoms that you can match with. <laughs> you know what I mean? So I totally agree. Bluff. Oh, oh, Justin Jeffrey. has a fun podcast. Tell you us know what, what it's, it's called. called. Yeah, yeah, tell us what it's called. called. Message Trace and told him I hope he's dating Gage. Oh, <laughs> oh my goodness, Trace. I thought you said Trace just broke up with the boy. Well, not that that matters. Jeff and Stu were dating point. days after a. That's the point. Yeah. He's like, I'm done. And so. Yeah. yeah I guess it doesn't matter. Um, did you hear your favorite promo? <sighs> Sharks, booze, steak, wheels. That is just the best. Don't you love it? I love it. That's my favorite one of all time. It's but wait so a minute. Good. What? So Jeff like got upset with Jameson because apparently Jameson played the wrong song. I totally missed that. What? It was it was because it was right before the live read. So he played it's by the way, it's pronounced WAP, not WAP. Wet ass pussy. I oh. hate when people say WAP because that's an O, so it's WAP. Sorry. Anyway, he was playing that and it was like it wasn't the censored version. There was lots of the P word. And then Jeff goes, What, what are you doing? And I hear Jeff go, What are you doing? And then it's quiet for a little bit. And he's like, that's the wrong version or that's the wrong song. And then when they came back from break, they had Rihanna S&M. So I don't know what the hell happened. Are both have like the same kind of no. vibe? Well, yes, but they're not the same song. So Jameson must have picked either the wrong song or the wrong version of the song. 
Well, because we know, oh, the pussy word probably. Yeah. So Alyssa has to produce and edit whenever he picks a song that is not going to be appropriate, which but, yeah, he must have a lot of leeway because there's a lot of inappropriate songs they do. Yes. Uh, yeah. Was anyway. today the caller about the grandchild or some kid at school that said their their favorite song was um, Petty, Petty Ass Petty Bitch? Ass bitch. <laughs> Yeah, so I don't know. What are you going to do? It's a great song. It's a great tune. (laughs) Um, So the Disneyland trip? Yeah. They snuck that in real quick, didn't they? But I only counted seven guests, and he said there's supposed to be ten. He didn't mention Pepper. Did he forget? I don't know. Maybe she doesn't take Pepper and Quinn together. They did before, but maybe maybe Pepper has to do something. So I was just wondering who the other... Well, even if it was Pepper, there's still a, a, two more people. Who are those people? Um, Krista and um, her daughter. Alice? Alice. Probably. Yeah. Because, I mean, I think... Oh, wouldn't you think it would be um, at least one of Monroe's best friends? The little Isla girl that he says is her best friend? We did hear Shane Count Stu. We heard that, too. We what heard it. Mean? What do you mean? What? Don't you think um, uh, Monroe's little best friend that they no, talked no, no, no. about? About the Shane Count Stu. What does that mean? I heard Shane Stu. Shane Count. said that Stu was one of the people going. Oh, gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. Yes, yeah. yes, yes. Um, uh, no, I don't think he would bring a friend and a mom. That's too long of a day. It's too stressful. I don't think he would, unless they're super close. I think it's Krista and Alice. Yeah. So how many is that? Because it said Shane, Shane, Jack, Monroe. Carrie, Quinn. Well, Carrie's kid. Oh, Stu, Monica. Daughter. Kid, Stu. Shane. Already said that. And then Krista Carrie. and Alice. That's 10. Know. Okay. I think go. we got 10 in there. Couple little girls, couple moms that'll be drinking at two o'clock. They'll be having martinis. Monica yeah. and. Um, no, I think I just Hi, counted Lisa. 10. Hello. Yeah. Hi, Lisa. Are Jeff and Stu off? Pause. I would think so. If you're cooking a bitch a steak with your lovely seasoning, you're off. Pause. If you're saying on air, then in a couple of weeks, because they're yeah. not even going to Disneyland for a couple of weeks. Now, this could all change. Things we've learned. What have we learned, Kelly? Don't get Shit on the world. the fan. Don't Shit get on the fan real fast. We have no idea. One day we're listening to a fantastic trip of Napa Valley, and then they come back Monday. Apparently, we know now, Tuesday, they had couples counseling that went to fuck, and they've been on pause ever since then. You know, we need to come up with a name. Like, they call Ramona the Ramona Coaster. I feel yeah. like we're always on a roller coaster with Stu and Jeff, so the... It's like whiplash. <laughs> Duff but we haven't heard from Stu about anything. He has Not that he ever called in much. Has he ever called in? Yeah, he yeah. has before. Oh, he has? To make um, fun of Andrew. <laughs> yeah, but he's been on before the show, but clearly he hasn't been on before this. And then, um, you know, of course he can't say anything on social media about it. I mean, what's he going to announce, you know? Right. You know? So we don't get to hear his side at all. But Jeff did say that he was the one, and Jeff was actually excited that he took the forward step or whatever you want to call it of making their relationship important to Stu and inviting him to his apartment for the very first time and cooking him a steak dinner. I just want to tell you that it's 62202 and I think Jeff might be flossing right now. To get ready? No, to get rid of the steak in his teeth. Oh yeah, he might have already eaten. I was gonna say yeah. he eats like a grandfather. Like he eats like five o'clock. Well not only that, he eats very fast too. Oh, he has said that. Yeah. I don't remember the eating. I know he said he drinks fast. Oh, no, he said he eats fast. And Carrie oh, said, yeah, your brother does too. You, you know what? Food. I remember that from flipping out. Yep. I remember him yep. eating his... And I think they only have like 30 minutes, so... Yeah. Shout out. AJ Sarwar. Yes, that. <laughs> um, he mentioned again this dinner at Doug's. That sounds so cute. Megan, Shane, and Jeff and Doug. That sounds cute. I know. Somebody asked, why do we think Jeff hasn't visited Stu's house in the past? I think probably Stu felt a little intimidated maybe having, come in, having him come over. And I just think, 
I'm trying to think. I haven't dated in so long. I'm, I had a house whenever I met Brian, and he had an apartment. I was more on the outskirts of town, uh -huh. not the suburbs, but more the outskirts, and he was more in town of Houston. So we might have been at his apartment more just based on location. Yeah, so, that's true. But they're both in the same vicinity. But, I mean, you know, Jeff has more space at his house. He's got Monroe on the days that he has Monroe. Can we just be honest? Jeff wants to be at his house. But I would, too. If I had a house versus an yes. apartment. Yes, yes, Especially yes. an apartment. When you're famous and you're, like, walking. I mean, Stu is, too. But you're, like, walking around. More people are going to see you. When Jeff is driving up in his 35% tinted windows, you know, he goes into his gate. He can get out. No, None of his neighbors can see him. You know what I mean? How cute was that story? Hey, Chum. Hey, Chum. Oh, that was so cute. Was that at um, the restaurant last night at Katsia? I think so. Um, what was yeah. I going to say about Jeff and Stu? Oh, and also, it's like, you know, if your partner has an, a house with a jacuzzi and a pool and a sub-zero refrigerator or freezer or whatever, I would want to hang out there, too. You know what Ab I mean? Absolutely. But I think he does need to see Stu's place, so I'm happy they've done that. Yeah. And we know that Stu got on last night and said that he had cleaned it up really nice. So I know. Um, Jeff took Stu to his apartment after the first wine tasting. When did he have an apartment? His house? Jeff took Stu to his apartment after the first wine tasting. I don't remember that because Jeff said he's never been there. But you know what else? No, it said Jeff took Stu. Oh, he dropped him off. Yeah, I think he's dropped him off. Before. Yeah. I think he knows what complex he lives yeah. in. Yeah. And then we know that, um... Uh, Shane only lives like one block over. And then I think Andrew Freund, I think they all, I mean, West Ho, West Ho, West Hollywood. You know West Ho. Oh, West Ho. Um, <laughs> I'm a Texas Ho. Uh, we know that West Hollywood is small. I mean, you know, there's a million right. different, what do you call well, them? Suburbs of well, LA. Not only that, but Fluffy said it's a small world. Also, I was going to say all the songs, whether it was a mistake to put them on or not, uh, WAP, s and &M, Thought throat, those are all horny sex. I was gonna say very sexual. Yeah, so you know. Oh, it's 625, they are now doing a BJ. <laughs> <laughs> oh god, I'm dying. Um, yeah, we know yes. that Shane, I think several of the chumps have been to his apartment. Hasn't he said that? I know Shane that he said has been to his apartment. Because one time uh Jeff asked Shane if his apartment was clean, he was like, yeah. He goes, I mean, not as clean as your house. I mean, he's got full-time staff right. cleaning his house. But, yeah, Shane has definitely been to his apartment before. Right. What else? Jeff has a busy weekend. Tonight at Stu's. Tomorrow, I didn't say, is it, um, got a feeling, sucks at those. <laughs> Jeff or? At DJ? Okay, Fluffy. Do both people give the blowjob? Yeah. Yeah, 69. Yeah, you can give a blowjob at the same time, right? 69. Wow. I don't know if I could concentrate. Well. Yeah. <laughs> what are you doing? I don't want to add my opinion because I can concentrate. <laughs> okay. Um, I was going to say something. What was I going to say about Jeff? Well, Jeff which birthday party is it tomorrow? Quinn or Pepper's? Quinn's I think it's just, Quinn's. Oh, but Pepper just had a birthday recently, too. Remember, they put up pictures of the pancakes it's and stuff. Pepper. Maybe their birthdays are close together. Maybe it's Pepper. I think it's Pepper. It has to be Pepper. Stephanie has, says, how do we know who the tops and bottoms are? Um, most of oh, them girl. have said on the radio. And if okay. they don't say it, we figured out by who they've dated in the past, who makes it very clear. Can I give a rundown of who I can have figured out? Shane yeah. Bottom. Shane Shane's bottom. admitted to being a bottom. Doug Bottom. Doug's admitted to being a bottom. Scott Bottom. Stu Bottom. Jeff Top. Justin and Martindale Top. Andy Cohen Top. I'm still on the fence about Jameson. I would say that he was a bottom, but now I don't know. I don't know. I think Jameson is good <laughs> and freaky, and I think he'll do whatever. I think Possibly. he's nice and freaky. I like it. Possibly. But what about that? You know, I feel like they... And Zach Bottom, Zach Noe Towers is famously a bottom. Is he? I'm, 
Well, he makes his whole thing. He, his uh, his thing is called uh, Good Morning Sodomites, but he ta- it's, it, the thing into it is something about bottoms up or something like that. Oh, uh, gives top energy to me. Yes, I, I think so, too. Zach? Jameson. Oh, Jameson. Maybe that's that little friction between him and Jeff. Like, he bitch, I'm a top. No, bitch, I'm the top. No, bitch, I'm the top. I can't remember your first name. Marty? Molly. My so-called Bravo line? Molly, uh-huh. we're going to meet her in New York at BravoCon <laughs> with Kim. I saw, I think I saw Kim get on earlier. Yeah, yeah she was here. Kim. Yeah. Um, wait, 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 what I was going to say is like Jeff took the whole time and talked about himself. We barely heard Poole and Patrick talk except for the, if you don't know who the Night Stalker is, do you know who the Night Stalker is? Yes, I do remember that. I, I watched the Dateline on it. I was eight maybe nine years old at the time and everybody in california was in southern california was terrified he was the craziest person he he, i just can't believe patrick went through that that's insane i can't believe he was watching knots landing on his tv and he heard the commotion instead he's like i'm not getting up from my tv and going up there who would i would be like no i'm not going to you don't pay me enough for that richard ramirez that was his name I'm trying to figure out what Fluffy said. Sorry, go ahead. What? Jeff's bottom would make tops soft. No shade. So does that mean he's not a good top? I don't know. Or Jeff's bottom, his butt? (laughs) Jeff's bottom would make tops soft. So Jeff get a hard on? Yeah, Jeff's bottom's butt sucks. And so it's not nice. So he would make the partner lose their partner. We don't know, Fluffy. We're so we're so naive. Yeah, Fluffy, you need to meet with us and have a, a sexual conversation, a sexual he, sex ed. Sex ed for to, us. He needs to teach a class. He does teach us. He does teach us. Um, okay. Let's chat about Aurora real quick. He is pissed. Can you imagine having Jeff mad at you and you got a, his ass ain't cute. Um, I would just die. I mean, he really sounded like he was mad at her and and literally told her, you have to stop doing that. You're going to wake up my neighbors. And if she would have woken up Monroe. But you know, when he said, you're not allowed to lock your car anymore, I would have been like, fuck you. I'll lock my car any goddamn time I want. But I, agree that i'm not but you don't need to do it 17 times three different times like is she stupid no she's so nervous around jeff think how Stu bumbles around because he gets nervous she's so because she cannot when you're stressed or anxious you cannot learn you cannot perform tasks the way you normally that's true this woman is terrified even a little like yeah she's scared she's scared i mean think if you did that if Jeff told you not to do something and then it happened a second time and then you had to walk into his fucking house and and work for him, I'd be like, I can't. That's why they all lie. I would go back to Nicaragua. I'd, I would just quit. I'd be like, I'm done. I'm going to visit. <laughs> Zo- Zoila and I are going back to Nicaragua. But how cute was it with Shane? He's like, girl, come in. Come in. Like, Shane's not afraid of him, you know? I think, who was it on the other day? I think who Shane. Was- well, he's got a healthy but but he can sass him. He can Yeah, for sure. Yeah. Aurora is Zoila's little sister. Yes. And she also is a housekeeper now. I think she might need full be full time and I think Zoila is just the weekends, right? Correct. Mostly nanny. I think she's mostly a weekend nanny hang out with uh, Monroe. I don't know what that means, Michelle. Maybe someone needs to blast Ew, what does that mean? Blast Jeff's ass. I do not know what that means, Michelle. Oh, like he needs to be a bottom? Blast, like... <laughs> We're naive people. Um, Hi, Ronald. I love whenever they talk about Paul as a teacher. I think he seems so True. concerned and loving about his students. And I love that he teaches high school, so I think he really relates to them. And he's probably a really good... Um, Role model. resource for them well role model i'm sure role model i feel like so... people would come to him with like high school issues and stuff he'd be that kind of teacher not only that he's out of the closet i mean when you see him he's gay so i'm sure he's <laughs> very approachable for lbgt uh, students to come and like have an ally with so I think yeah that... i wonder oh, if he's a sponsor dude. for that because remember he talked about when that lady when that uh 
grandmother who somebody called in. Oh, and right. uh, Orphy called in today. Orphy in Chicago. Shout out Orphy. Oh, shout out Orphy. Um, I wonder if he's a sponsor for the LGBTQ plus, you know, club that they probably have in, in there. I know I most, e most every large high school has those now. But remember um, he even said like all the teachers come to his room, like they all want to like chat with him. You know what's crazy? Didn't he what, say they're you? like- Oh yes, my God, course. he's so funny. But I just remember him saying, I think there was like 80 teachers or a hundred teachers on their campus. I was like, oh my God, that is so huge. That is? Do you, do you have 100 or 80 teachers at your elementary school? Yeah, because I knew the number because they would talk about ordering lunch for us and stuff. We have 27 teachers. Are you like in a tiny school? No, that's the average. 27. The high school that y'all feed into, is that a 6A? Is that like a huge football thing? No. Oh, see, we're 6A. Everything, everything immediately around me is a 6A Texas high school. I don't know what that six, eight stuff means. It I just means nine. It's about population. And it means you play, you, you play other six, eight football teams. It's about how many students go to your school. I don't we know. have like 680 at my school. Uh, yeah, we had about that many, but you only have 20. Oh, y'all have a lot of kids per class though. Yeah. One of our teachers has 33 students in her class. Oh, don't even get me started, girl. I'm on the unit. No, we would have like 14 to 17, but that's not common. That's not common. That's that's not always common. Uh, let me talk about guests for next week, and then you'll talk about music real quick, and then we'll wrap things up. It's already 34 after. Monday, Elisa Donovan and Doug. She hasn't been on in a while. Right. Tuesday, Megan King. That'll be good because there's been some drama with him just recently getting married. And, and did you she, see, he apparently wore the same wedding suit to his wedding now as he wore to her wedding in Italy. I'm not surprised, but I'm also surprised that he doesn't fit in it, or that he fits in it. But not only that, she just filed a t temporary restraining order against him because he was, like, blasting her on social media. She might have retracted it, but she did just recently file something. Oh, that's right. Um, oh, I wish Shannon Bedore was going to be one of his guests during BravoCon, but she's not. She knows not to touch that. She's like, uh-uh, not right now. Yeah. Are they even friends again? Who? Jeff Shannon and Shannon? Jeff? Oh, yeah. I think so. You're okay. right. We don't we don't know how that went. I Wednesday, never see in the Newport pics. Wednesday, Leah Black is making a special appearance. Apparently, she's in L.A. or okay. will be. Thursday, Josh Black. Love him. I want to hear how he's so in love with his man. And probably Megan. Yeah, I would think Megan would be on. He didn't say, but I, I bet. Yeah. And then Friday, Lala Kent, she's so hot. Oh, my gosh. She has been working it out there. And Where she's been that? hanging out a lot with um, or, or these little functions they go to. The other night at that Bros uh, movie premiere was um, Heather McDonald was going live. And That's Lala right. Kent Sheena. was there. And Sheena. who else? Sheena. Oh, Sheena Shea. Sheena Shenanigans Shea. Sock monkey from far away. I thought it said cock monkey 74. And I'm like, wow, we are getting a very interesting audience all of a sudden. Yeah. And I thought, why am I getting shadow banned and banned? And my name's not cock monkey. Because you hashtag murder, ser serial killer, and what else? Death. They never do talk about Paige Woolen anymore. I'll tell you why. Because Jeff said that he first found her on Instagram because she said dudes in my DM. She had this Instagram. She would post the disgusting things they would say and she would be witty and give a comment back. And um, when she was on. Jeff, I get Instagram banned whenever I do that stuff. And when she went on Jeff's show, she wasn't very funny. And Jeff said that. So she got kicked out of the challenge. Oh, I mean, I haven't gotten a good DM in a while. I don't think. But you're shadow banned. <laughs> Oh, that's true. Maybe they can't find me. But um, yeah, you're right. That might be part of it. Um, but whenever I did, I would just post it as a story and like, right. you know, be like another day, another DM. And then I got in trouble by Instagram like three different times for that. And I'm like, oh, like they're not even bad DMs. It didn't have cuss words. Other people can cuss like crazy. I'm like a practically a nun. Practically a nun. <laughs>
Mateo, and yet I keep getting in trouble. <laughs> Mateo, did you hear that? Stop it. Stop it. Be on my side. I'm practically Sorry. a nun. For all intents and purposes, I'm a nun on Instagram. With five kids. <laughs> hey, 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 hey. Are they fighting? Hey. Sister Sarah, exactly. Why do I keep getting in trouble on Instagram? Sister Sarah, I love that. Uh, well, thank you for wrapping up another week with us. Um, we will try to put these up on YouTube. It will be up on our Instagrams, both of them, like immediately. And then eventually it gets put up on the uh, Spotify as a podcast. Uh, look at your pussy. He can't go to CatCon though, right? He's not allowed. No, no. cats allowed. <laughs> Let us know if anyone's going to uh, CatCon or Amy Phillips, because Amy Phillips also has. Oh, Amy, sh Amy, sh Amy Phillips show Sunday night at some place typewriter or something. Yeah, typewriter. Dynasty yeah. typewriter comes to mind. Anyways. Thank Wait, you. you. Smokey puss. Aw. Shout out, Dina. Way to come into the end, Dina.